Hi and welcome to Talking Reptiles with myself, Mark Perpetua from Reptile Encounters and my good friends at Hudson Valley Reptile and Rescue. Today we have a species spotlight on what is known as the Pueblin milk snake. Pueblin milk snakes are often referred to as what are known as tricolor milk snakes and that's because they have this beautiful banding of red, black and yellow. A lot of the southern milk snakes will have this coloration as something we call mimicry. Mimicry means it is appearing to be something it is not. It's a copycat. In the animal kingdom, bright colors often mean danger. Poisonous skin, venomous bites or sting, and this is a completely harmless milk snake. However, it does resemble something colorful called the coral snake. Coral snakes live in the southern part of the U.S. and throughout the rainforest of Mexico and Central America and South America. But the milk snakes, by looking like them, are able to convince predators to leave them alone. So instead of having camouflage, they have these bright warning colors. Lucky for us, we know he's not venomous. And when I was a kid, I learned a little rhyme that went with that. And it had to do with the order of the pattern of bands. Notice the red bands are always touching the black. And on most milk snakes, that is true. So the rhyme I learned is that if red touches black, he's okay, Jack. That means even if he bit me, a little Band-Aid is all I would need. But if red's touching yellow, that's the dangerous fellow and the one to leave alone. But I do got to put a warning out there. Now we have a lot more information available. People go eco-touring down into the rainforest of Costa Rica and not all coral snakes and milk snakes play by that rule. So it's not always the best way to tell your milk snake from a coral snake. As always, the advice on snakes, if you don't know what it is, leave it alone. But these guys have become really popular as pets, as you can tell by the way this one's behaving. They're really docile. Uh, Pueblan milk snakes are native to a really small range of Puebla in central Mexico. They live in dry and scrubland type habitats. And although they're not venomous, they are constrictors. And that means they are going to use their coils to help squeeze their prey, in which it may help to suffocate. And new research lets us know that it also helps to stop the blood flow, stop the heart from beating, a whole bunch of effects for that prey. And what are the prey for milk snakes? Well, milk snakes are closely related to king snakes. And what that means is in addition to normal constrictor prey, small mice, small birds, small lizards, milk snakes like king snakes will also eat other snakes, including venomous snakes. So in the pet trade, this is not a snake you would ever want to keep with a cage mate because, well, you'd find out the hard way what might happen if one gets hungry before the other. These snakes average up to about 36 and occasionally as big as 48 inches. So they're good sized snakes, really docile, real easy to breed in captivity, which is why they become very plentiful on the pet trade. So once again, that is our species spotlight on one of the tri-colored milk snakes known as the Pueblin milk snake from Mexico. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep coming back as we keep bringing more videos as we continue talking reptiles.